opening up one of the most highly anticipated Pokemon products of 2022. It is the Pokemon Sword and Shield Charizard Ultra Premium Collection Box. This box is absolutely stocked with Pokemon goodies, including 16 booster packs, three brand new, never before seen Charizard cards, among many other collectible items inside of this. So without further ado, let's get into it. Woo! Dang! So this is the Sword and Shield Charizard Ultra Premium Collection Box. It is absolutely massive. The design is really, really cool on the box. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. You can absolutely tell that this is a premium Pokemon product. The packaging is super clean on this. It's got a nice matte finish on the side with a little bit of shine on that sword and shield. And then it's gray and white on the other sides with Charizard and that Pokeball. Also, I did get this from trollandtoad.com if you guys want to pick one up from there. Also, we have a coupon code so you guys can save a little bit on your Charizard box. But without further ado, let's get into it. So the top is like a magnet. Oh my goodness. You open it up and there is a mega Charizard right here with the coolest color scheme going across the top. Or is that the bottom? Which direction does this open? No, that's the top. I'm disoriented. Bum, brum, ba, ba, bum, ba, ba, bum. Another part of this premium box is a premium Charizard playmat. I'll be the judge of that. <gasps> Dude, this is sick. Oh, wow. So this comes with an absolute masterpiece of a playmat. Also, the, the proportions of this are kind of weird. It's like smaller than my other playmats. They made it like widescreen, but playmat. The design of this mat is absolutely stunning. You've got a huge explosion happening over here. Gigantamax Charizard just ready to strike. I am terrified and also very impressed. The art on this is amazing. Cheers, that's definitely gonna be our new playmat for a while. I kind of forgot the playmat was included with this, to be honest, because they, as far as I can remember, have not included play mats in previous ultra premium collections. Correct me if I'm wrong on that. Ooh. So we've got a compartment with the Gigantamax Charizard, a Pokeball, and the regular Charizard. Now, once again, the feature items of this box are those three brand new promo cards. They are absolutely stunning. They feature three different Charizard cards, the V, the V-Star, and the V-Max, all in this really cool like alternate art format. You also just get a crazy number of packs in here. So let's go ahead and check this out. Here's compartment number one. <laughs> <laughs> Here's compartment number two. And the sides of these are also branded with some Pokemon stuff on them. Yeah, Pokemon trading card game on both sides and then whatever logo on the edge. And compartment number three. Oh, they call it as premium. So we've got, I don't know why they randomly put this in a different one. We've got all of our items inside the Charizard Ultra Premium, including a stack of 16 booster packs, which we are gonna open today. We got two Lost Origin, three Astral Radiance, three Brilliant Stars, three Fusion Strike, three Evolving Skies, one Vivid Voltage, and one Darkness Ablaze. So there is a set of metal dice, and I appreciate the way that they packaged those up. They kind of separated all of the things that could potentially damage any of the trading cards. I put these in a completely separate compartment in the premium box. So we have some gold dice. These are gold and white, and these are damage counter dice. So those are really, really nice. They're very heavy, by the way. We've also got the gold and white poison and burn condition markers. Normally these condition markers are acrylic, so it's kind of cool that they are metal. So one side is just blank, the other side has that symbol on it. And then it says Pokemon C22 right there at the bottom. Very nice. V-Star marker for some reason is not gold. It's like literally the only thing that is not quote premium in this whole box. Everything else is just like completely gold or just really fancy. I don't even know what to do. I'm not worthy. We also have a really cool Gigantamax Charizard coin right here. So on one side, it just has the outline of Gigantamax Charizard. And then on this side, it's got the traditional official Pokemon Pokeball logo right there. Plus the Gigantamax Charizard sleeve. These are looking pretty clean. So you get 65 of these. They're like a nice matte finish on those sleeves with a red border. Pretty cool, if I do say so myself. So we've checked out the sleeves, the dice, all of the gold stuff. We've got a series of packs right here, but it is time to check out the three 
promo cards that come in this. And they all come in the same packet, by the way, with a code card. So, is your code card. Feel free to use that on something fun. <gasps> Yo! I am absolutely in love with the art on these, by the way. They are absolutely gorgeous, and all three of these cards are textured Pokemon cards. So you got the Charizard V right there, the Charizard V Max, which is a similar design to the playmat, but it's actually not the same pose. This one is like spewing fire out, and on the playmat and the sleeves, he's just kind of like big chilling with fire everywhere. So definitely the same setting. This is almost like giving Godzilla vibes or something. Very intense. And like very like weird realistic in some way and we've got the charizard v star holy cannoli which one of these three promo cards is your favorite let me know in the comment section but i'm genuinely curious because on the podcast the shallows podcast that we record every single week we were talking about these and all three of us real breaking nate jordan fringe and myself we all picked a different favorite so i need to know which one's your favorite for me i'm gonna go ahead and go with the charizard v star pokemon card i absolutely love the design on that i think all three of them are amazing. The Charizard V is so cute because it's like not in combat at all. It's like literally just chilling. And then the V Max is obviously very intense, very intimidating. I don't know what to do. I'll be staying far away from the V Max, all right? Sure. Oh, wait. I think there was supposed to be like another booklet in here. Ah, there it is. This also comes with a really nice sword and shield booklet that basically goes through all of the sets so far in Sword and Shield, including Silver Tempest, actually. So it's got all of them listed out here, and Silver Tempest is most likely going to be one of the very very last sets of the Sword and Shield era, especially as we're getting into Scarlet and Violet in 2023 for the trading cards. It shows off, oh, some of the cool decks that have come from each, some of the iconic cards that are in each set. That's actually really cool. And obviously shows off all the Charizards that have been in all these different sets too. Look at all the Zards. There's so many. So this is super cool. I'm super excited to go ahead and go through this. So it, it finishes off on Silver Tempest, which uh, as you know, has not released yet. I guess they didn't put any photos of that yet. Probably because this box comes out before Silver Tempest. However, we are going to be unboxing some Silver Tempest cards very, very soon on the channel. I'm actually going to a pre-release. Well, by the time this goes up, it will have already been at the pre-release, but okay. Without further ado, let's go ahead and crack into our 16 Pokemon booster packs. I am going to go ahead and save Evolving Skies for last. I'm super excited to see what we get out of those. I know a lot of cards from that are, are going to be very hard to get. I'm going to save Brilliant Stars and Evolving Skies for last, and then we're just going to go ahead and go through like this. Brilliant Stars, we are obviously hoping for that Charizard alternate art. Even though we did just get three brand spanking new Charizard cards, I'm really excited to see what else we get inside of these packs. So let's just go ahead and check them out. And once again, this box is $120 retail. So if you see it out and about, uh, please, please, please do not overpay too much more than $120 just because that is what the value of the box is. And I'm sure uh, more will start to show up if you're having a hard time finding one. So definitely, definitely don't pay too much over retail for these because I have a feeling they will be out and about a little bit more than um, than some of the other ultra premiums. We got a Rampardos right there. That's our first hollow of the day. Serving it up Gary's way. Ding! Here's the thing. If you're not a SpongeBob fan, I feel like some of my jokes just don't make any sense. If you are a SpongeBob fan, that one made perfect sense. <laughs> anyway, here we go. It's our last pack of Astral Radiance. I think we might have something good in this one. Let's go ahead and see. We got a Quillfish. Oh, Radiant Greninja and a Lux Ray V, the two for one special. I love it when that happens. This is like something new with the, the latest few sets where basically you can get a hit in the reverse spot as well. Well, obviously, as you know, other sets before that, you could do that as well. But the, it seems a little more common now that you have the character hollows and the radiance that you can get two hits in one pack. So that one was the best pack of the day so far. We're gonna move into Lost Origin, which we got two Lost Origin. I don't know why. Some of them, so yeah, some of them we got one pack. Like Darkness of Blaze, we just got one pack of. And uh, Vivid Voltage, we just got one pack of. But Lost Origin, we got two. And then some of the other chunks of them, we got three. So I don't know. What do you guys think of this box? Also, if you guys are enjoying the video, don't forget to drop a like. It does help support the channel. It lets me know that you guys wanna see more videos like this. Uh, feel free to share this with your friends if you think they'll enjoy. Pokemon card opening extravaganza. Yeah, so that one had a Landorus as the regular 
Perea. Lost Origin. I am working on completing the master set of Lost Origin. I'm going crazy for this one. It's really daunting, actually. I have a significant number of the rainbows and the full arts that I still need to get for this set, but I think in good time. Ooh, shout out to the Growly Gang. I think in good time, I will be able to complete that set. So no luck on the packs from today, but that just means there's probably something good in some of these. So we can get a Rainbow Rare Pikachu VMAX out of this one. We could get a Charizard out of that one. Oh, and if we happen to get a an alternate art, either the Mew or the Gengar VMAX out of Fusion Strike, I will lose my mind. I'm gonna lose my marbles. All right, here we go. We got an Execute, Chitak, Glabapus, get down, Ninjata, and a Zygarde. That was pretty cool. Nice and not too bad so far. Uh, we got Giraffe Rig. There's also a new form of that in Scarlet and Violet that's coming out in November for Rigoraph. That Pokemon's gonna be so cool. I'm super stoked to see that one in action. So we are moving on to Darkness Ablaze. Charizard, where are you? We're gonna be summoning the uh, the Charizard gods here in a second. Also, I'm wearing my shirt that I got in London at the Pokemon World Championships. I love this shirt so much, and I don't have very much pink stuff, so I don't know, I thought it was kind of cool. You may have already known that if you watched some of our London videos, but who knows? We got a Bounce Wheat, we got a Panseer, and a Golisopod Hollow. We are getting our fair share of holographics here, Cape of Toughness, and a code card. All right, we are moving in to Fusion Strike. And once again, this box, I, in my opinion, was one of the most sought after Pokemon products of the year. Like when it was announced, people were going crazy about this one. So I can't believe it's finally here. I can't believe I have it in my hands. This is so exciting. We got a Vulpix and... A cloister. Rapid strike. Cloister right there. That's all right. That's all right. Not too bad. We are moving into the second half of today's packs. We have not gotten a full art or any ultra, well, any secret rares, I should say. So we are still on the hunt for any sort of rainbow cards, maybe a character hollow. Out of Fusion Strike, we could get an alternate art. That'd be amazing. So we're keeping our eyes peeled for any and all of those. Brizion in a Swampert. So we're getting our fair share of holographics over here. Not too bad. I got a quick ball. Could use that in my deck. All right, last pack of Fusion Strike. And then uh, let me know if you guys are looking forward to Silver Tempest as well. I've got a couple of videos in the works for Silver Tempest. And then we actually do live streams every single Saturday unboxing Pokemon cards. So every Saturday, you'll be able to see a live Pokemon card unboxing right here on YouTube. So feel free to stop into those if you guys are around. We got a Totodile and an Arachnid. Dun, dun, dun. Out of our fusion strike, we got one hollow out of those three packs. I think this last chunk of pack, everybody, is gonna be where we get some big hits. So if you guys are unaware, Evolving Skies has a crazy number of really, really highly sought after Pokemon cards. There are a lot of evolution alternate arts that are so, so hard to come by these days. So hopefully we can find one of those or anything else sparkly wackly. We're hoping for the best. Okay, here's our Brilliant Stars pack. We got a Sharon's Care. Oh, there we go, Charizard V, okay. So another Charizard came to join the party. Let's see if we can get that one in alternate art as well, that'd be absolutely amazing. Also, I am just chucking stuff over my shoulder, if you were wondering. That is exactly what's happening. Charizard V right there. All right, this set also has a ton of Arceus cards. There is pretty much every rendition of Arceus in rainbow, in full art, in gold. It's every, it's everywhere. It can't be avoided. We got a Chimchar, Minchino, Baltoy, Snow Run, a Nose Pass, Clinky Dink. Al Clemmy, a little cake, a little ice cream. No, it's a cake. A little cake guy right there outside the bakery. We got Gloria right there, Starmy. And there's your code card. Also, let me know what you guys are getting with those codes. Uh, so we gave some away for the actual Charizard Ultra Premium and then um, all of the, the packs. So that Charizard Ultra Premium code most likely has those three Charizard cards for the TCGO. So so have fun with those. If y'all are, uh, are battling with those or have them in your collection now, hope you guys enjoy that. Here we go. We got a Piplup. It's got a Shroomish. All right. Purloin. Duskull. Sneasel. Holly Chaw. And an Infernape. Holographic. Cool. All right. Not too bad. We also got Hunting Gloves. We got Hunting and Cleansing Gloves. Nice. All right. Bear Tick. And then there's your code. We got three packs left. And these are the Evolving Skies Booster Packs. We've got an Eevee right there. We got Psyduck. Temple. Woobat. Bagon. A Floet. 
Ludicolo holographic. All right. See, we got our fair share of hollows, I feel like. This box had so many regular hollows, but I'm hoping that in this very last pack, once again, 16 packs, that's almost half of a booster box worth of packs. Just from like a wide array of different sets. We are going to boop this pack on Growly Snoot. That fine Growly. For good Luke. Boop. This is a different Growly today. This one is laying down. It's literally a laying down Growly. Very cute. All right, here we go. Last pack magic. Let's see what we've got. And then once again, if you guys are not subscribed, consider subscribing, consider dropping a like on the video, and consider turning on those notifications to see our upcoming videos and live streams and all of that. All right, let's see if we can finish strong with an ultra rare or some sort of alternate art. Let's go ahead. We got a Teddy or Saw, dude. I think we got something good in here, actually. Don't panic. Don't panic. Don't panic. We got a Lilio. We got a bag on Pikachu. And. <gasps> oh my gosh. The Dragon IV alternate art. You're kidding. This is amazing. That was last pack magic for sure. Wow. I love this. I adore this card so much. It is so freaking cute. Dragonite, like, taking a nap in the sky. I don't even know how you do that. How do you nap while flying? That that feels unsafe. There's a bunch of Fearos in the background. There's all these beautiful clouds. This is one of my favorite alternate arts from this set. I cannot believe that we just got that out of the very last pack of this box. That's crazy. Let's go ahead and analyze this one for the texture. We're zooming into hyperspeed. Oh, wow. The texture on this one is really awesome. The waves going on in the background, and then you've got, like, his tummy and his wings, too. Oh, wow! I'm so excited! Absolutely unreal way to end it off. Oh my gosh, our stick is falling. We got a shifty stick. All right, so everybody, that was absolutely amazing. This is what we've got out of all 16 Pokemon booster packs. I would say, I mean, it really didn't come through until the very last, like literally the last pack. Uh, up until then, we'd only gotten two ultra rares and one radiant card. The rest were just strictly holographics, but I, you cannot complain about that. That is absolutely amazing. So hope you guys enjoyed this opening. Once again, don't forget to drop a like, feel free to follow our channel for more. We've got a lot of stuff for Pokemon Silver Tempest coming very, very soon in addition to lots of other Pokemon videos on the channel. So thank you for kicking it with us and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!